What's going on guys and gals, it's your host with the most mustachioed and haircutted griever as always, bringing you guys a double chapter review for Ayakashi Triangle Chapter 69, just get the jokes out of your system now you children, and Chapter 70, double chapter review and the reason for that is, totally forgot to review Chapter 69, honestly, got ahead of myself uh, doing other things, got distracted, then realized, oh shit, <laughs> it's next weekend, and uh, I didn't even do the chapter 69 review. So, uh, so we're doing a double review, but thankfully, actually, there might be a little bit more to talk about. Chapter 70, definitely much more interesting than chapter 69. Uh, ironically or unironically, you decide. But for the most part, chapter 69 simply goes on to state that the love confession at first, it was going to be, oh, don't do this, don't do this stuff. But basically, they both recognize their feelings, they recognize the love confession, they play it off at first sort of idea, but Matt Suri says the same thing, like, I don't mean I love you as a family, neither do I, blah, 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 and they go forth. Now, Suzu's all hot and horny. She's ready to fucking pounce. She's ready to go. She wants to, you know, drop him down and, and no tomorrow right there on the shrine steps. Shirogane ends up preventing that because it's you shameless humans, you know? Shirogane's the best part of that chapter. Um... But Matsuri tries to resist and say, look, like, we should do this thing, like, we need to do this in proper order. I want to be a guy first before I start any romantic relationship with you sort of idea. Because at the end of the day, remember, you reminded me that I'm a guy at heart. At the end of the day, yes, I, I've been able to do a lot of things as a girl, but at the end of the day, I am still a guy. And I don't really want to pursue this until I'm back to being myself. Fair, very fair argument. Suzu's just a teenager, and she's thinking down below rather than here. And uh, so that's basically what happens there. Now, Shirogane, as I said, prevents the makeout session on the shrine steps and yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, that's basically the chapter. And Ninokuro's there just going like, uh, uh, so a love confession, I see. Well, we always knew they were in love with each other, so it's fine. But we needed to attack Shadamai's base while the getting's good. She's healing from her wounds and stuff. And so he's ready to fight. Like, he's being the serious, stoic character that we all know and love. So, um... Honestly, once again, chapter 68, The Love Confession, felt a little flat. And this chapter is trying to, I guess, make up for it with a whole chapter dedicated to them not playing it off, not doing the, oh, I misheard you. Oh, I hit my head and have amnesia. None of that bullshit. Trying to actually make it seem like a proper moment. I don't know. It just, it sort of feels out of place. But I guess we never really questioned the will they, won't they. The will they, won't they aspect, the cliche of that, was so put on, like so overboard 110% that I don't think, and we never really had a true rival. They try to showcase this in Chapter 70, that Rio is a rival for Matsuri's affection. But in no way, shape, or form did anybody ever believe that. You might ship them, but in no way, shape, or form do we ever believe that that's going to be the case. So I would argue that realistically the confession's still flat, yada, 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 but I'm sort of glad in a weird way. The silver lining at the very least, if you want to look at it that way, the silver lining is the fact that now it's out in the open. Now they both confessed their love. It's not hidden anymore. That's a big thing, right? It's not, it's not hidden anymore. We all know about it. The characters know about it. Everybody's going to be yada, 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 just fine. So then we move on to chapter 70, where they're going to attack Shadow Mind's base. And this is where, as I said, Rio, like they're, they're in a serious mode. Like they've all lined up. We have Rio there. We have Suzu there. We have Matsuri. We have Soga. We, we are, we're ready to go. We're ready to infiltrate the base and we're ready to attack. Um, this is where fluff happens. Just the, the whole Rio thing. We have tentacle hentai. We have this type of hentai. We have massaging hentai. We have, basically, it's just all over the map here. We're, we're like, I mean, you can call it Ichi, but let's just be realistic what it is. This is borderline hentai at this point. Um, and uh, honestly, I was like, okay, whatever, whatever. Can we move on to the more interesting stuff? But this is why I like Chapter 70 better. Is that not only does Nino Kuro, because it's basically Suzu and Ryo fighting for the most lewd level of affection, right? That seems to be the case here. Very, very, like, okay, whatever. But I guess that's the manga we're into, right? But Nino Kuro actually keeps his composure and he's just like, damn it, stop making these weird noises. We are right now facing the enemy's base. We got to do this stuff. And then finally he hears... Soga, help me, I need you, and just help. And so Soga just like, boom, I'm done with both of you, and just like, all right, pull yourself together, Matsuri, we don't have time. He's like, all right, thanks, but of course, each moment you're grabbing my big tit, 
And uh, it's like, ah, oh, shit. And of course, he's still not over. We had the character development before at the lake where he did semi get over his aversion to uh, naked women and stuff. Like, I gotta be a stronger ninja. But this was just, just out in the open and stuff. So I'm sure he's gonna be able to recover uh, in the next chapter or so. But they might not actually end up fighting because here's the interesting part about chapter 70 is, of course, M Shadow Mai comes out to meet them and says, I came out because you're tired of waiting. Uh, she was tired of waiting. He goes, if that was your plan, it's genius. And they try to play it off. And of course, no, that wasn't the case. Now, Shadow Mai basically brings up the idea that I'm going to pay you as a visit. And why don't we just table the animosity? Why don't we just be friends? And they're like, wait, what? What are you talking about? And she says that none of you can comprehend or understand the level of my existence. If I leave, if you destroy me, Matsuri and Shirogain will never turn back to their original forms. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. What does that mean? Shirogain was the one. Like, the scroll and everything took his powers and the, and the gender swap jutsu by Shirogain is what created the, the problem with Matsuri in the first place. What does Shadow Mai have anything to do with this? Did she cast a spell, a seal, something like that? Who knows? But this is incredibly interesting because Shadow Mai was not involved with Shirogain losing his strength nor with Matsuri gender swapping whatsoever. So the reason I enjoy chapter 70 is because this is the end of the chapter, but it leaves us into a new plot line involving, once again, and we see Garaku there in the background and stuff. They think they're going to storm the base. They're going to attack Garaku, inner storm jutsu, all that stuff. And it seems like none of that is actually going to take place. It seems like there's going to be more of a lore-based, a more dialogue-heavy chapter in Chapter 71 rather than a day fight. So, honestly, I find that more intriguing, and I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but honestly, as I said, Chapter 69, I forgot to review it, and I apologize for that, but I reviewed it now. Really, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about, but at least here with Chapter 70, we have something more intriguing to go off of, a new plot line, a new this, a new that. Um... Oh yeah, the end of chapter 69, Suzu and Matsuri are holding hands, like, girlfriends, you know, that kind of idea, and uh, and that's that's fine and cute or whatever, but uh, once again, I felt the love confession was out of nowhere, a little flat, that kind of idea. Um, they make a good couple and everything, but it's been so obvious from chapter one that, like, it's not like a finally, you know, we get some some admitted out in the open feelings for one another you know what i mean it's just been so obvious this entire time that yeah so um but anyways uh that being the case i hope you guys enjoyed the review the double review the two times review uh i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, what do you guys think is going to happen with this plot line what does shadow mai and gataku especially have to do with shirogane getting his powers back and the gender swap jutsu what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and fourth, and most importantly, don't get your hair cut in the winter in my back of my neck and head is cold as fuck in Canada. And fourth and fifth, and most importantly, definitely drink responsibly as always. And we will see you guys back here next time for chapter 71. I'm at, hopefully, I don't forget this time. And we'll see you guys back here next time for that review. Stay tuned for it. Yada, yada, yada. While I stumble over all my outro words and... Uh, Bye-bye.